Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Steve Engelgau from Lake Arrowhead, California, and uh, I have a poodle pointer. Uh, uh, she's a versatile champion. We're with uh, NAVDA, uh, North American Versatile Honey Dog Association, and uh, had a lot of fun hunting her the last few years and competing in different trials and so forth. What I enjoy most about hunting is uh, Obviously being in nature and uh, being with the dog, seeing the dog actually work a field, uh, work a pond. Oh, I grew up hunting. Actually, I was raised in Oregon and uh, was around uh, duck hunting my, my whole life. Uh, we did some upland stuff, but mainly duck hunting and was around labs and, and uh, actually uh, springers, uh, spaniels as well growing up and was quite involved with um, uh, Ducks Unlimited for some period of time too in, in, in Oregon. I was raised with a dog, so I'd say in my, uh, as, as an adolescent in, uh, in, in Coquille, Oregon, uh, we had our first dog there and it was a lab, a mix, and so always been around dogs. Uh, this is my first pointy dog. Actually, um, just, uh, she's three and a half years old. I've had her for three and a half years. And she's um, uh, been a real excitement for me because I used to do a lot of uh, hunting, but mainly uh, big game hunting, um, elk, deer, and, and antelope and that kind of thing. Um, and as I get older, I'm enjoying bird hunting a lot more. It's not, uh, not as taxing on me physically. I got involved with some dog uh, folks and I went to some contests, some NAVDA contests and uh, saw all kinds of dogs. Uh, real common is the German short hair, and there's some great uh, field dogs, but I was most impressed by the Poodle Pointer for the natural ability, uh, their natural instinct, and drive. This is actually a new breed to the United States. Uh, came, um, they came to Canada, uh, a guy by the name of Bodo, brought this breed to Canada in the uh, early, uh, late 50s. It came to the United States in uh, the uh, mid 60s. And so it's a kind of a brand new breed for, uh, for the United States. The breed originated in uh, Germany and it was a mix between a poodle and a pointer. And so uh, the poodles, uh, it was a water poodle and uh, a lot of features about the, the water part of the dog is really cool. And that's why the versatile, the versatile dog is so important is that they're just as good in the field as they are in the water. Uh, well, they can handle uh, extreme cold uh, and they love the water and they love retrieving ducks and geese and, and uh, it's just a natural thing for them, very natural. That's a real big thing with the Poodle Pointer. They're a very intelligent dog and that's what they claim came from the Poodle side of things. They can retain um, uh, a lot of information and very eager to please as far as, uh, as being a handler. Uh, she wants to please me. My dog wants to please me more than anything in the world. That's the most important thing for her. Uh, and then you combine that with the, what we call birdiness, uh, the drive to find game is uh, it's just uh, unparalleled in my opinion. That's the beauty of this breed is that uh, she's as good in water as she is in upland. Um, she points and fetches and uh, retrieves like, you know, it's just a natural for her. So in, in difference to other breeds that are specifically water dogs or field dogs, this, uh, the, the versatile is why this is such an important dog to, in, uh, in today's dog world. The most exciting hunt I would like to go to the Midwest and do some of the renowned, world-renowned um, um, pheasant hunting. Um, I've done a lot of, uh, I actually belong to a, a local uh, duck blind. Yeah, I have a duck blind in a, a local uh, spot here, so we do a lot of stuff in the water already. And of course, uh, chucker hunting in uh, eastern Oregon is what would be uh, probably on the bucket list. 
I love the dog, and I love the dog get, being one with nature. In other words, uh, to see the dog work a field, to see that the poultry that goes along with uh, the movement of the dog and finding the bird and then freezing on the bird. And, and as I get older, taking time to wait for me till I get up to the bird and then we flush it and uh, hopefully shoot it. And uh, I think that's probably the conser uh, conservation part of uh, hunting I think is very important that we, you know, don't abuse nature, but on the other hand, uh, work with nature. I, I see myself hunting till there's uh, no breath left in my lungs. I, this is uh, something that you know, I have a real passion for and the people that I'm around, the dogs I'm around, and the whole experience is, um, really gives value to my life.